Hi, I'm Matt Sosman, a Senior Security Architect at Microsoft, and I want to show you device-based conditional access working with Microsoft Defender Advanced Threat Protection. This is how if you have an active threat on your device, you can actually be stopped in your tracks from trying to access any kind of corporate resources and prevent that threat from accessing corporate resources as well. Let me show you what I'm talking about. All right, so what I'd like to show you here is conditional access. Now, this is a feature of Azure Active Directory. Um, there's many different things you could do with conditional access. This is Microsoft's zero trust approach, but check it over on the left where it says trust and compliant devices. And then to the left of that in that box, it says Microsoft Defender Advanced Threat Protection. So when I go to log into my application, if the device is trusted, meaning it's joined to the domain and it's compliant, meaning that it's got its right compliance policies on it, then it's gonna allow you have access to that application. Now, if my device is not compliant, then it's not gonna allow access. So what I'm gonna show you is making the device non-compliant because Defender ATP here found a threat on that device. So let's jump into the demo and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Okay, this is my lab environment on a uh, air gap network that is in a controlled state. And I tried to launch WannaCry on this machine and you could see Windows Defender found it and blocked it. And you can see it over here on the right side. Now, again, do not try this, uh, proceed at your own risk because this is highly dangerous, obviously. But what I wanna show you is how having a threat on this machine can actually stop you from accessing corporate resources. And so if we launch Edge here and we try to go to my email and log into my email, you're gonna see that it's going to deny access. So let's just go to portal.office.com and boom, conditional access stops me in my tracks and says, your device isn't up to date with your organization's policies, check its status and take action. So this is device-based conditional access tied in with Microsoft Defender Advanced Threat Protection to basically prevent this computer from being used if it indeed is under attack. Pretty cool, right? Now, if we go back to the Defender ATP console here, here's my machine. And when I click on alerts, you can see the alerts have been generated. Notice I've been doing this a little bit more today and I loaded a ton of garbage on this thing. But uh, if we click on WannaCry, there it is. And so this is where device-based conditional access kicked in because the machine had a risk level of low and it prevented me from logging in. So if we go over to the, whoops, if we go over to the um, Endpoint Manager product and we take a look at Endpoint Security and we go to Conditional Access, I created a Conditional Access policy that said anytime Adele tries to log in to any cloud application or in fact, on-premises application through Azure AD App Proxy, then uh, if she's using Windows, then require the device to be marked as compliant. And then I created a compliance policy inside Endpoint Manager here that says for any Windows 10 machine, the device has to be at or under the machine risk score of clear. So if we open that guy up here, notice he's not under <laughs> the clear. He's at low, meaning this compliance policy will kick in. It'll make him non-compliant, which means conditional access will then deny him access to resources. So I think that's pretty awesome. This is device-based conditional access using Defender ATP. Let me know what questions you have, put them in the comments, hit me up on LinkedIn, and we'll see you in the next video. Take care.